at this point, how is this game real? How is Toys for Bob making this game real? Like, what? We got a brand new character that is going to be playable in Crash 4. We got a 14 minute demo um, we're about to react to. This is from what? PlayStation Underground. Crash 4 gameplay. Oh my God. Crash's girl is playable in Crash. Let's see. Oh my God. I, I don't know what to expect. I'm like. Oh, look at this outfit. Crash oh my God. Oh my so God. Good. Oh my the God. Let's go. Uh, <laughs> right. Look at it. He's a charmer. That's Crash? Oh, he had an outfit on. Okay, okay. That makes sense. Hey everybody, Jesus welcome Christ, to PlayStation man. Underground. Before we introduce our developer guest from Toys for Bob, we're super excited to showcase a brand new cinematic from Crash Bandicoot That's 4. Coco. It's about time, featuring a certain character's very exciting return. So we'll stay quiet while playing that for you now. So we're gonna just see... Oh! <sighs> Thank you so much. A new Wait, cinematic? Tana? Let's go. But you're different. <laughs> you're she not is. from our universe. She is different. She got a sword? It's good okay. to see you guys. It's been a long time for me. <laughs> oh, we lost touch in your universe too, huh? Yeah, you could Different universe. <laughs> so we universe like, bending. Or something? What? No. Nope. No, but no. Definitely not. So how are things in your dimension? <clears throat> uh, oh, they died! <laughs> a bunch of evil scientists attempting They died. They huh. died in her so, universe. Uh, what you collecting? Crystals? Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Gems. Masks. Ooh, fun. <laughs> well, good luck with that. Wait, good luck with that. You're not she's coming? Sorry, done. I fly solo. She but I'll, I'll solo? lend a hand where I can. In fact, I already have. What? Let's go. Aww. Please tell me she's swinging around. Please tell me. Oh my god! Welcome everybody to another episode of PlayStation Underground. <laughs> you got Tim and Kristen here. Hey. And we are so excited to be joined by oh Boom Stutter, my god. producer Look. on Crash 4. Oh my it's about god. time. And Mandy Beninov. She could use uh, it as a weapon. Game. Thanks so much for joining oh us for god. a look at Crash Bandicoot 4. Yeah, yeah, jump to that Great to is, be here. Oh my god. Well, Lou and Mandy, we're absolutely honored to have you both on. Look at this level. Anna and Crash Bandicoot 4, you know, first with that awesome cutscene and now with a first oh look at her gameplay. Gosh, so where do we begin? Yeah, so uh, today we're super excited to be on PlayStation Underground revealing uh, kind of our cool. last playable character. This is Tana. Last playable character. Awesome. She's okay. got a new style. That's cool. We got so many theory, already. In this, this version. <laughs> Yeah, no, she's, uh, you know, it was really exciting for us to kind of re-envision her role in the game. Um, and so this is actually, as you saw in the, the cinematic at the start here, this is Tana from another dimension. <laughs> from another? And oh, so my God! Kind of our version of Yo, the she can walk! Playable oh version of Tana. Alt-Tana. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this is great, and she's got it definitely, you oh know, one thing God. that's been really cool seeing the characters for Crash 4 is, walls. you know, Crash and Coco have a, a very traditional play style for, you know, Crash Bandicoot, but then you have, you know, Cortex, who, who kind of uses his, his blaster to change enemies, in the harder and levels, recently revealed Dingo Dial like, and his vacuum cannon, so what, what sets Tana apart, you know, gameplay-wise that we're seeing here? Yeah, so Tana's kind of all about being, oh, like, an action I didn't hero. even know they were trying she to go like for and so for her, she's actually got a couple of really unique maneuvers that kind of change her gameplay uh, when compared to Crash and Coco or the other playable characters. Um, primarily, she has uh, what we call her hook shot. It's kind of a grappling hook that allows her uh, okay. to traverse the level uh, really speedily. And then you oh, can also she see she's the only character that can wall jump. Mm. Um, and so for her, it's all about kind of quick traversal and oh, comboing these different maneuvers together. Oh, there's that hook. Oh cool. my god. Yeah, going from um, a rope swing to a hook shot uh, to a rail grind to a wall oh jump. Oh my god. Uh, being fast, nimble uh, in ways that the other characters aren't. Nice. I love yeah. her design too. Oh. Like just like the leg warmers and the hair. <laughs> like it's very like 80s oh. action hero. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she got uh, eight. I and it. I was about to say, yeah, what is she was doing? actually something that our, our art team was really focused on was kind of making her seem like she's been on adventures and she's kind of Yo, found, that rainbow effect you know, her own personal so style dope, and man. way forward in the world. 
Nice. Yeah. And and so I'm, we're seeing color splash out of her here. Um, what's going on there? Yeah, so this is actually a look at uh, one of our, our newly revealed modes called Inverted Mode. Inverted and so it's our mode, kind of right. souped up take on a mirror mode. And so what we've got is kind of an inverted level layout, uh, but then also each of the dimensions has their own new and unique kind of art style and uh, experience. And so this one that we're showing off today that Tana's playing through uh, is one where the world is black and white, but all of the actions that you do paint to the environment. I okay, wonder if you have cool. to paint everything. Watch out for those sharks. Yeah, it looks <laughs> like, you know, no matter who, what character you're playing in Crash 4, the, that familiar, familiar but, oh, you know, sharks. challenging but fair difficulty is there. Um, <laughs> I, I wanted to ask a question, you know, Bro, Mandy, for car. you, um, Look at this. what it was like revisiting a character like, like, you know, Tana, who's familiar, but this is a different take, and, you know, she's been kind of out of the picture for a little while. You know, what was it like bringing yeah. her back uh, in this new way? Uh, it was really cool. I mean, that, the I nice thing this, about doing visually an alternate incredible. universe character is it's kind of a blank canvas. So mm. um, obviously I had the art to go on as to what she looked like, but it was really fun a trying to figure box? out who she was and what her place in the story was. Sorry, I just, I love this recycle bin. Yeah. <laughs> you know, if you got to go, as, as long as you can be useful and repurposed in your, you know, afterlife, that's good. That is yeah, in the future, they can even reuse bandicoot corpses. That's, that's good. <laughs> you know, you got to get resourceful. Uh, that's awesome. One thing I'm curious about um, is, this, oh is my with... Uh, the different characters oh, being playable. Sort of, how does it work for you know? You pick up the game and, and you start playing. Is it a, like a linear progression Yo, of stages, is... and and you'll play different characters for different stages, or can you go back to the same levels as a different character? Kind of, how does it yeah, work? Yeah, exactly. Uh, for when folks are going to be playing it. Sure. So the the main adventure is a linear series of stages. We've kind of taken our cue from uh, Crash Bandicoot 1, and we've got okay. what we call the dimensional map, which is kind of this overview of the levels, and that allows us to introduce new mechanics and new, mecha and new characters okay. along the way. Linear, now, the three like uh, additional one. playable characters, okay. Tana, Cortex, and Dingo Dial, will be introduced with their own main level story uh, okay. to get you up to speed on how they play, what their move sets are, so we can kind okay. of train you and how to so play them and be... introduce their storylines. But from that point on, uh, they actually are mostly in these optional levels that we call timelines. Mm. And so these timelines are these really fun levels where half of the level is playing as uh, these unique characters in their own level section. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then you see how their story uh, interacts with Crash and Coco. Interesting. Okay. So it's more dope. like they're, this is like the sideline of what's happening? Yes, exactly. And and so it was kind of fun is, you know, when we were working on this and, you know, when Mandy was doing uh, the, the writing and figuring out how we wanted to do this, we kind of joked, you know, of each of these different characters have their own way of interacting, mm -hmm. where Cortex being, dope. you know, a, a villain is doing stuff to hinder Crash and Coco. Uh, Dingo Dial is just kind of an accidental uh, tourist <laughs> in all of this, and so he's accidental mostly story. just kind of causing havoc unknowingly. But then Tana is all about almost being kind of like a guardian angel on the sidelines, oh, okay, Aww. helping them. That's she's cool. looking out for him. That, that is that, that's awesome. And from it, I like that it's kind of this interesting contrast to, to oh Cortex, who's kind of causing oh. destruction that might hinder the progress of you know. Crash and Coco oh, in their, their the boxes, stages. Though. But, you know, the one thing I'm curious about, too, is from a gameplay and Yo, sort of look narrative how perspective, this like, world looks! Tana's, you know, um, her abilities to, like, you know, everything from her animations, you know, oh whereas Crash God. might have sort of, like, a belly flop or something like that. She has this really, like, intentional ground pound. You know, what does her, her new design sort of say about her as um, a character in Crash We're slowing 4? down time. Sure. Oh, and no. Mandy, do you oh want to speak God. to that? Sure. Um, I think... The biggest thing is it speaks to her past in her universe, which you don't really see, but just are we underwater? The fact that she's an experienced, no. capable adventurer. Mm -hmm. um, this really isn't her first rodeo, and so <laughs> or I she think down that time. really shows through her animations oh, and her this moveset. Is that, like that inverted stuff. mode. Yeah, yeah. this I underwater can't... level is. Just, it's underwater. I love, I love how it like what? she's kind of slowed down and has to move a little bit more. Agile, I guess. Yeah. Is that another inverted uh, level? It is, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so this is actually the inverted version of this future dimension. And oh, so okay. it nice. totally changes the way that the, the level feels. Really does, yeah. 
Oh my god. I love that because it really just adds to the replayability of like you think you already know how this level I'm runs and then going through it again with this different style just like, it just adds that extra layer. This is yeah. Crazy. yeah, it's it's really yeah. fun because what we found is playing the crash games, you build a muscle memory. Mm -hmm. And so you end up like you actually see, you know, especially now that we have this death That's counter, cool. you, you see, see the, your um, you know skill grow but just by kind of you re replaying it and knowing the challenges. Like and so we wanted to create a mode that completely messed with that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And completely made your you know muscle memory betray you, and you actually had to learn and relearn the levels over again to make it feel really yeah, fresh. Cool. I love that. No, that's that's really cool. And I'm also just a huge fan of seeing. I, I love wall jumps in game, and, <laughs> and and growing up with like side-scrolling platformers from like the yeah, eight and sixteen bit era, like just wall jumping is it can be so liberating and and requires such so you know, precision and skill. Okay. So it's it's fun to see that in you know a crash game. I wonder uh, if they're gonna introduce so it's fun to see. Uh, you know, enemies stacked on top of each other to try to take you out with, uh, oh, with flaming for, for, for Um So yeah, what are we looking at now in okay. terms of um, gameplay here? Yeah, so we wanted to uh, show off a little bit more uh, Crash and Coco, of course. Oh, okay. um, just kind of, you know, to that was make easy, sure like, to know, don't jump on that box. <laughs> the game as well. I'm loving her pirate costume. Yeah, that's actually the other thing that we uh, recently unveiled is that. Um, you can actually find uh, gems in levels and kind of okay. earn gems, and these gems are used level by level to unlock additional skins for the game. Nice. And that's so this cool. is something that's you know it's not a, a microtransaction or a purchase; nope. it's purely that's you know cool, a, a that game experience cool. thing. But we wanted to show off some of those skins, especially the ones that are, are fun because they're themed to the world that you're in. And so uh, we started the video taking a look at Tana in kind of a, a pirate-themed dimension level, uh, and here we've got Coco doing. Uh, uh, some similar exploration, but in a different level and wearing her awesome pirate outfit. Nice. Awesome. I loved earlier when she was able to like whip one enemy right into the other. <laughs> yeah. So satisfying. Yep. Uh, and yeah, in the interest of She's you know showing off the boxes and it's board, hurting I guess me. it's worth noting that this is a, a pre this is pre recorded gameplay. We're not doing this live as we're talking, mm -hmm. uh, just because we did want to be able to kind of show a bunch of different. Uh, you know, uh, examples of the gameplay yeah. all at once, but I, I, I'm loving this world. Um, yeah, this sliding and sort of the pirate dope. theme. Um, oh and my I, God, I did get I a chance to play fun. a little bit of Crash 4 and try these sort of like rail grinding sequences, and it's a lot of fun. One thing I, I really like is that when you're controlling them wait. underneath on the underside of the rails, so you, have, you have control over kind of where the body's enough. angled so you can hmm. kind of dodge. Look at Crash! Play, um, Yo! Attacks. I can't oh, get over this. Crash's outfit. So good. The master of subtlety. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> Look at him. He's a charmer. So is this his future? His future get up? Uh, That's right. That, yeah. Okay. Future crash. Oh this my is God, Frogger! Like in the future, so get used to it. <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. Yep. <laughs> Anything to make me feel alive, you know. This is, this is what I could use. Um, I love this. So this is the uh, the same sort of themed stage as we were looking at with with Tana underwater. Yeah. But this is just um, its sort of default look. Is that right? Mm -hmm. uh, yes. So okay. yes, oh this, is, this is uh, what we the call time. the snacks yes. dimension okay. um, because this is the kind snacks? of the culinary capital of the universe. This is the. the I wonder if you can city. make it through <laughs> and, uh, without food um, trucks using throughout. the slow, um, the slow down time. It's mechanic. actually what we wanted to do was make a, a futuristic world. I'm pretty that was sure a runners ultra, be you know, happy and positive. We didn't want to make you know a super dark, depressing dystopia. And we actually went and uh, you know made this super fun, that. super vibrant, Making futuristic future city, and, and we actually have signage of different cultures and different uh, languages represented because this is just the hangout of the universe. That's great, and and we're also um, you know seeing some of the uh, the quantum mass gameplay here too. So um, that will will Yo, change the the incredible. you know different elements of the gameplay. You know, from this. slowing time to phasing things in and out of the bombs are chasing him. So what? one thing just worth calling out there. All right, so we're just about out of time. Lou, Mandy, out thank you time, so much definitely. for joining us on PlayStation Underground. Pleasure to be here. Yeah, thanks for having us. Yeah, it's and about Crash time, Bandicoot bro. 4, it's about time, hits PS4 on October 2nd, 2020. Yo, let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. That is insane. So I also wanted to throw this in there in the video of, of my reaction. I just finished my reaction, and I literally was going to start editing it I jumped on Twitter and I see that we're getting a demo for Crash 4. And I believe this is the demo the press has been um, playing around with 
where you get to play as Crash and a little bit of Neo Cortex as well. Comes out September 16th, bruh. September 16th, expect the video from me here on the channel. Yo, if you are new for whatever reason, this is your first video of you watching of me. I'm a huge Crash fan. Join the family. Hit that subscribe button because I'm going to be doing more reactions like this once we get any new details, any new trailers, any new gameplay stuff. I'm going to be on it here on the channel as well as playing and reacting to Crash for It's About Time as well as making video guides for each, not each level, probably the difficult ones first, but definitely diving into and trying to do a full guide here on the channel. So again, Hit that subscribe button if you're interested in content like that. Let me know your thoughts of this whole PlayStation Underground interview. Your thoughts about Crash 4. It's about time. I answer all comments. So let's have that conversation down there. Again, if you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. Also hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as moving the video on to recommend it so other people can check out the channel and the videos. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next one. And woo! Crash 4. Let's go. This game, they should have dropped the demo now. I want to play this now, bro. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you're not a subscriber and you made it this far, hit that subscribe button. You know you want to. Join the family. Ring the bell so you can be notified on the next time I drop one of my videos. As well as hit the like button on this video so it can be recommended so more people can check it out so we can have more people join in the family. If you want to keep up with me on other social media platforms such as Twitter, Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok, or whatever. I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on all of those. Again, Daddy Gamer Fred, you'll be able to find all those links in the description of this video and the pin tweet comment on my Twitter. Also, on all of my videos, I do answer all comments. So, again, if you just want to chat it up about the video or anything, just hit me up in the comment section below. I take time out of my day and literally answer to all the comments that you guys leave me, and I love it. And again, let's have that conversation conversation down there. Here are a couple of suggested videos that you guys should check out that may be of your interest. I am a variety channel. I do tons of stuff, tons of Pokemon, but tons of other stuff as well. So dive into these videos. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.